Hi friends, so this is the first time that I have ever done a fashion show for you and I thought it would be great because eventually we are going to get into spring here and we're going to want to have a lot lighter clothes. Plus it's the time of year when we get to wear dresses and be dressed up. Um, all of these dresses are fairly modest, um, pr appropriate to wear to church or to wear on a special occasion to a wedding, anything like that. I hope you do enjoy this haul today. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I am 5'7", 175 pounds, and my bust is a 38D. So hopefully that will help you out a little bit and be able to decide for yourself whether or not these dresses are something you want. Let's start off with this really cute dress. I kind of was hoping to have a little bit more room, but you're going to be able to tell what I'm talking about. This dress is really pretty. Basically what it has is a high low hem. So it does look like it's a wrap around, but it is sewn together right there. So a pretty ruffle that goes all the way around it with the high low. And then I paired it with just some closed toe pumps and they are so cute and i will show those to you so here is the pump they're just adorable pumps they're so pretty i also decided to pair it with this cute purse this is really the only white purse that i have but it's just a really cute easy purse it's a crossbody. it has one pocket instead of a bunch of dividers which i do really like a lot and i also used a pair of earrings that are just kind of kind of some silver sparkle. It's got a lot of silver on there and a few little beads in, in between or rhinestones in between. And then I also put on my monogram necklace, which I really like. It just kind of set the, the outfit off. So flutter sleeve on this and it does tie right here at the waist where the wrap looks like it stops. I just think this is one of the prettiest dresses and definitely will be wearing this a ton during the spring. Okay, second dress is a purple dress. This one is a little bit heavier of the fab in the fabric than the other dresses that I'm showing you today, but it's a little bit more modest as well if you're wearing it a little tighter because it's not going to show everything. And also, I just thought this detail of the necktie was super cute. You can wear it in a bow like I have today, or you could just wear it just tied in a knot, kind of like a regular tie. I also think that these ruffles, it's a double ruffle here on the sleeve, is so cute. It also covers your arms all the way down. It does have a zipper on the side for you to be able to get into it. And then it gathers just right underneath the bust right there. The hemline is really pretty. Again, we have this high low look and we have a little bit higher right here on the knee and i also paired it with this adorable purple purse which i just thought went so well with it i've had this for a long time but i thought it went really good with the purple theme and then again the shoes that i'm wearing are just a pump with the sling on the back and I will show those to you as well. This is just a bone color, and I would say the heel's probably three inches, and then this right here is suede, so you almost have a tonal look going on. Such a pretty shoe. This is a watch, just kind of a rose gold tone. I think they had this in the other two tones as well, silver and gold. Just loved that beautiful look to the black on there. I think it really sets it off. And then I paired it with just a pretty pair of the hoops that I showed, I think last year. And these happen to be the purple butterfly that I love so much. And you guys love these too, because you sold them out last year. Definitely think this outfit came together so well. And I love everything about it. This is probably what I'm going to be wearing next time I go to church. I just absolutely love this right, one. Next up, I want to show you this adorable sundress that I got. It is so cute. It just ties right here. And this is kind of that ruching, almost like the tube tops we used to wear. I remember those. And then the dress itself is just really flowy. No pockets or anything like that. Let me show you my earrings before I pan away. These are just a hoop that I really, really love. They're kind of a, a wound around kind of a jute type thing or, you know, kind of bohemian look to them. And I really like them. They're a little bit off white. They're not white, white, just so you know that. But I thought they went really well with it. And then also before I go too far away, I want to show you the shoes I'm wearing because apparently I'm not able to uh, get the whole outfit together. So this is just a sandal, really strappy sandal. It's got the wedge on it. And again, it's got the um, rope or the jute or whatever you want to call it on there. So I do love these and they're very comfortable. Panning back for a really good look at the dress. The dress is quite long. I will put a picture in here that you can see, but the dress is pretty long. It goes almost to the floor and it looks so good with these shoes. Very, very flowy and it does have a liner in there as well which helps with the modesty. You're not gonna be able to see through it 
in the sun. Now, if you're somebody that's like, I cannot wear a sleeveless dress, I get it. I also am somebody that likes to be a little bit more modest at a lot of times, or you get cold. This is one of my, the cutest cardigans that I think I've had in a long time. It's got some intricate detailing right here on the sleeve, and it's just really pretty the way that it lays. You can wear it buttoned up, you can wear it undone. I just thought this was a beautiful cardigan to wear with any dress. I almost forgot to show you the purse that I paired with it. Now, this is not white white, but this is one of the prettiest purses I've ever seen. You can pull it up and have it be a longer strap if you want, or you can use the double strap. And look at the detailing on this purse. It is so pretty, absolutely gorgeous. It has the flap that goes over and just one pocket inside of it as well. And this is the purse that I'm carrying right now. And I think that it completes the outfit totally and it's just so pretty. So you are outfitted from head to toe. And I just think that this is one of those ones that's gonna be so beautiful going into summer as well as spring. Dress number four is this pinky peach cute dress with this sleeve that is the short sleeve it has the buttons on the side it comes down it has adorable detail on the bust line and then it also almost looks like that tuxedo style jacket that goes over but it's not it's just some trimming on there such a pretty dress before i show you the whole thing though i got this necklace as well on amazon it's so pretty beautiful sparkly butterfly with these chains that hang down that have beads on them this is gorgeous and then i paired it with this earring i didn't really have an earring that matched all that well but this can you see the movement in that earring it's so pretty and that's because it has a front and a back so this is the back or the backing of the earring that you have it's like a hoop type thing i think this comes in a few colors as well maybe not we will find out and i did want to show you this gorgeous shoe this is a pointed toe pump and couldn't have asked for a better color to go with this because it just has a tint of light pink in it, almost peachy pink in it. So it's a blush color kind of. I love wearing this pointed toe with a heel. I think it's so cute. And now I'll pan back so you can see the rest of the outfit. Here is the dress. It is just below the knee, which I think is so cute. And it's got this little flounce on the bottom as well. It's very, very stretchy. So if you're worried about it, I mean, it stretches a ton. And it's a bodycon and it has a zipper in the back to get into. I am wearing I think an extra large so I did size up I just wanted to feel more comfortable and have a little bit of room in it I just thought it was so so pretty and I actually love these shoes that I decided to pair with it and then of course the purse just finishes up it off so cute I just absolutely love this outfit this is another one I think I'm gonna be wearing very very soon okay the very last dress is kind of a cap sleeve dress it's not a cap sleeve it's over the shoulder dress or cold shoulder dress so you can wear it down if you want to i don't have the right bra on right this second i didn't want to have to change bras so i'm wearing it up a little bit and i really love the way this looks i'll pan out and show you this one as well in just a second really cute little ruffle sleeve on there with the gathers and the earrings that i chose these are probably one of my favorites that i've ever purchased and these are enamel on the petal right here, aligned with a gold, beautiful gold color. And the inner part of the flower is rhinestones. And then this big pearl sitting on the bottom. They're not heavy. I don't feel like they're tugging on me. They do have a secure clip that goes over the back of them. If you wanted to wear it like that, instead of with a regular back, you'll see what I'm talking about when you look at them on Amazon. And then the necklace that I chose, I've shown this a bunch on my channel too. This is a Lariat type necklace that you can bring down and it can be longer or the end of it can be shorter. So it just depends on what you want. Love this necklace. It's been one of my favorite. Also again with the half pump and this one's super strappy and it just looks so pretty on. I love the detailing all over and I chose to wear this with this because it was just a little bit darker and it worked really well. And then let me show you the purse and then the purse that i chose oh my goodness i'm so in love with this purse isn't this the cutest thing quilted again this is cream it's not the white one it has the dividers in there and you do have a longer strap if you want to carry it for longer and it's got the big bow on it i just thought that this purse was so cute let me show you the whole entire outfit now okay so panning out this is the entire outfit the dress is super flowy gathers right underneath the bust it does have a tie in the back not a high-low skirt, but just a very flowy, pretty skirt. And there is a built-in slip. It's lined in here. So that's nice because it 
keeps you from getting all clingy and it helps with modesty as well. I just thought that this came together so pretty. I feel like this definitely can go for wedding guests. Um, you can wear it to church, absolutely. Wear it to any special occasion that you have, a garden party, anything like that. I just thought it was so cute and I love the shoes. These shoes are super comfortable, by the way. They're probably the a little bit lower than the other ones I showed, except for the first ones that were white. They have so many beautiful shoes. Okay, yeah. that's it for the five dress outfits. I hope that you did enjoy the video. I promise I'm going to get so much better at doing these because this is the first time I've done them. But since I've been on YouTube such a long time, I do wanna do fashion in here as well now. Thanks so much for being here with me. And if you do have any suggestions of, of what you'd like to see for looks or for different outfits, let me know that as well. I love you guys so very much. Come back around really soon and we'll be together in my next video. Take care, goodbye.